What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Boston Celtics. I am back on the NCAA 14 Dynasty with my squad, the Texas Longhorns, getting ready for the biggest, one of the biggest college football rivalry games uh, as we head to College Station to take on Texas A&M. Uh, before we hop into the game, just gonna throw on some different unis uh, for A&M. And then we'll hop into it. As you can see, we are both 91 overall. So it's going to be a great game. Pretty evenly matched. Rivalry games always have, you know, a different vibe to them anyways. So it's going to be a great game. Can't wait to hop into it. All right, man. So you see the team stats here. So the top players for Texas A&M, their kicker, their left end. And their right outside linebacker. All three of them are 90 overall. Uh, as you know, the top players for us, Chris Boyd, Gary Johnson, Breggen Hager. All of them had pretty good games last week against USC. So let's go ahead and hop right into it, man. I know College Station is jumping right now. Everybody wants this rivalry game back. So let's just get into the coin flip. That excites. Every time Texas or Texas A&M play the fight song, they are reminded how much they dislike the other side. Texas fight song says so long to AM. AM fight song says goodbye to Texas University. They'll say hello. So Tails is the call. You know me, defense up first. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Alright, man. So first defensive series of the game. Need to come out with the bang. They started with a screen. Good tackle by uh my boy Chris Boyd. And hold him to a zero yard gain brings up second and ten. He's got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Second and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. All right, so second and ten. It's like a screen, but we got it. We're all over it. Just don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Uh, it's going to be an 11 yard loss, so it's a great start to the game right now, man. Got the screen shut down. Sack for 11 yards, first play of the game. They didn't go anywhere with the wide receiver screen. So Jimbo Fisher trying to run some screen games, man. Try and work on, I guess, our defensive line pressure. Another screen, but we're all over it again. Let's go. So negative 13 yards on the first drive for a and And Texas defense comes with a bang in College Station. Let's go ahead and bring it out with a pass, man. I didn't do too spectacular against USC with the pass, man, but I'm hoping I get get it started up here a little bit. So Sam Ellinger connects with Lil Jordan Humphreys for 16 yards on the curl. So game is going really well for us right now, man. Big defensive stand on the first drive. My boy Trey Watson breaks off a big run, 12 yards. So back-to-back -back big pickups for my offense. And we are almost in the red zone, sitting on the 21. All right, so after the the sack, the second and 20, I'm going to run a little triple option here. Try and get some shaking here. Oh, let's go. So big pickup on, off the triple option. To my boy Trey Watson. He picks up 17, makes it third and third and three. Way more manageable. And the crowd at Kyle Field is going crazy right now. He's gonna try and scramble. I see you. Ah! So I had the chance. I'm not sure who I had right there open, but just couldn't connect. But now nah, I'm I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You got to risk it to get the biscuit. So why not go for it, man? Can't squander that great. Ah. So A&M has it wrapped up, man. Only was able to pick up two. Needed three. So turn the ball over on downs. But it's not. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it at all. My defense played great the first series. So I'm hoping they come out with the same energy and momentum. We can, you know, get another three now. And he just gets rid of it. 
So we force a throw away. Second and ten. So now it's first and ten. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Come here, let's go. So Charles and Manny who gets the tackle on Kellen Mond. Make sure he doesn't get nowhere on the read option, man. Let's go. Boom. My boy, Charles and Manny who sheds the, the block, man. Gets to the backfield. Puts a lick on Kellen Mond, man. Gets the five-yard sack. All right, man. So we start on the other side of the 50. Great starting field position. Pick up the first down with Sam Ellinger. So we're, we're, we're moving the chains really good here, man. Just need to put some points on the board this time for sure. All right, so second and three. Kyle Field right now is rocking, man. It's getting hard. You know, I really wanted to come in, try and assert myself in the passing game. Haven't been able to do that. Ah, and I throw the pick. So not look... We got a flag. Face man. Ah, it's gonna give him good field position. Yeah. So, trying to get you know the passing involved, man. But I throw a pick. I thought I had my boy Duvernay, but I didn't. All right, man. So the end of the first quarter. It's gonna end zero to zero, man. Like I said, it's a great game so far. I should have points on the board. But, you know, that's just a risky run. But to start off the second quarter, man, and it comes out in the eye formation. But with there, my boy Gary Johnson hits Trayvon Williams in the backfield for a one-yard loss. It's going to bring up third and nine. So we're looking, you know, two-fourths and him to punt a third time in this game and hopefully, hopefully put some points on the board this next time. Let's go. Let's go. Chris Boyd. Oh, I bet you on Cribbit. Oh, I bet you on Cribbit. Oh, I bet you on Cribbit. Ah. So my boy Chris Boyd comes up with his first INT of the season off the long ball. I tried to Cribbit, man, but just couldn't pick up enough blocks. But it's all good. So I definitely want to punch it in, you know, in the end zone this drive. Get some points up on the board, man. Start making a statement. Now he's scrambling. Here they come. Room around the corner. And he's taking So nothing's there, man. I scramble with Sam Ellinger. Pick up 13 and the first. But I'm you know, I'm still trying to get my my passing game involved. Last week against USC didn't really get much going. But now it seems like I've quieted the crowd a little bit. So maybe we can, you know, start making something happen here. As I throw it to Colin Johnson on the curl, picks up 11 and another first down. You know, I'm just going to break the tie here, take my three, and play defense. My defense is playing outstanding. As my boy Dicker the kicker breaks the tie, 48-yard field goal, puts us up 3-0. All right, man, so it's 3-0 now, back on defense. Hopefully we can... Keep playing outstanding football here. As I get in the backfield again with Charles and who gets my second sack of the game. And now they looks like they're, you know, on the move. Hopefully we can slow him down. Let's go! Gary Johnson with his second pick of the season. Let's go! So the pressure is getting to him, man. He now throws back-to-back -back INTs. My boy Gary Johnson comes up with his second interception of the season. And my offense is back on the field with tons of time to work still. Minute 17. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say forget about it, man. Take a deep shot right away. Why not? Maybe I can make something happen here. He lets it fly. Ah, that's what I get. See? That's a great Throw the pick. But it's all good. My defense is playing great. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it too bad. But it is two picks to two picks. So it's very, you know, the game is very close like I imagined it would be. But if we're being honest, man, I... Let's go! So my boy Charles Aminahu 
gets the strip sack, forces the safety. But they prevented a touchdown. Let's go. So my boy Charles Emanuel was having a great game. Three sacks in the first half with the strip sack. Forces a safety, man. So now it's five to zero. So after the the uh, the safety punt, man, coming out on offense, minute one left. Going to try and put some more points on the board if I can. So nice little route right there by little Jordan Humphrey. Picks up 28 off the curl. So it's a great start to the drive, man. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. Nice pitch and catch. So I'm back to back curls. First to little Jordan, then to Colin Johnson. Right now he just picked up 25. So first and goal now from the seven. I'm gonna try and punch it in here, man. I'll run a little triple option, see if I can get a little misdirection in the defense and take it in. My boy Keontae Ingram, let's go! So my boy Keontae Ingram, seven yard touchdown, his first touchdown of the season. Comes at a great time, man. It's gonna put us up 12 to zero. All right, man, so after the touchdown, it's now 12 to zero, 34 seconds left. And I'm still trying to get off their side of the 50, man, as my boy Malcolm Roach hits Kellerman in the mouth for a sack. All right, man, so we ended the first half with the touchdown. Gonna start the second half with the ball. So we're gonna try. The running back gets two on the carry. You know, and keep the momentum going. Punch another touchdown in. Widen our lead out. So I have complete, complete faith in my offense. Kind of I mean, my defense. Right if I don't pick it up here. But I'm going to pick it up easily. Keep the chains going, man. Big third down here. But we're going to pick it up easily. Off the inside handoff with my boy Trey Watson. Um, as you see that carry there puts us over 10 first downs for the game. All right, so second and seven. Got a little triple option game going here. Let's go. Ah, so big, big pickup right there after triple option with my boy Keontae Ingram. He picks up 30, moves the ball into the red zone, down to about the 10 or 11. So second and 10 now. I'm gonna come out with a little trap option. Looks like Angel's gonna bring a little safety blitz. But it's all good. Trey Watson, get big! Let's go! So Trey Watson runs over the corner, powers it into the end zone for a 10 yard score, man. His first of the game. So big hit right there by my boy, Charles Amini, who gets the four yard loss. Makes it third and 17. So my defense continues their domination. So far in the game, man. Playing their tails off in this rivalry game. Almost, almost, almost got another sack with my boy. So close, but brings up fourth and 17. Forces a &M to punt once again. Right now, so far, pitching a shutout. In one of the biggest rivalry games in college football, Texas, Texas A&M. So it mean a lot, man, if we can hold on to a shutout. Really earn some bragging rights, man. Even I mean, it's just a video game, but whatever, man. I'm still going to take it. Uh, but to start off the fourth quarter, I'm just going to run my boy Trey Watson, man. He's going to pick up the first. Picks up a good six yards there. All right, so third and six, man. Trying to pick up. Ah. That was a good play right there, man. I tried. I thought I had him. He was open, but by the time the ball got there, they had a great play on it. Picks it off. That was my third pick of the game. It's a killer, man, because I've really been trying to get my passing game involved, man. But maybe i just been forcing it too much. But luckily... My defense is playing outstanding out of their mind. 
as Charles Emmanuel and Brecken Hager meet in the backfield. So it looks like AM's gonna go for it. I mean, I don't blame them. They have had nothing going this game. So they come out in the eyes, most likely a run, and they pick up. Oh, big yardage with Trayvon Williams. So on the fourth and inches play, AM picks up their biggest yardage of the game. Finally gets the ball across half field, man. So now they're going to run a little hurry up, try and build off of that. I don't blame them. Let's go! Gary Johnson! Oh, let's go! So my boy Gary Johnson, third pick of the season, second of the game. I tried to crib it, but Kellen Mond had too much speed, man, for me. As you've seen, I tried to juke him, man, but slowed me down enough. Hey, man, don't slip on the drip. Ah, my boy with the sweater vest. Like I was saying, though, man, tried to crib it, but just slowed me down just enough so his teammates could catch up, man. But Gary Johnson having a great two um, two beginning games of the season, man. Three picks in two games. He's playing outstanding. My whole defense just playing crazy right now. So... 245 left, man. As you see the total yardage, 266 to 21. My defense is just playing insane, man. I don't, I have no other words for it. That's just crazy. But I'll come out in the eye. Do it once again, man. See if they can pull out another stop. But my boy Trey Watson powers it in behind my great offensive line, man. Puts in another touchdown. It's going to make it 26-2-0. Putting the donut on these boys in College Station. It's crazy right now. I know I know. Kyle Field is dead quiet right now, man. I'm sorry. If you're watching this video, you're an AM fan. I'm sorry for your loss, man. But I had to do it. I'm sorry. Clock is running. Under... About to be under 20 seconds here. He sails it long. So my boy Devontae Davis comes up with his first pick of the season. That's going to bring our total to four picks on the season. 15 seconds left. So your boy is just going to take a knee. The fat lady is singing, man. We're going to take this knee. Take this donut and dip up out of college station, man. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And that's ball game, boys. So great, great way to start off my coaching career, man. Big first win against USC. Then we come to College Station. Holding boys to a donut, man. 26-0 against one of our biggest rivalries in school history. It's just a great, great start to my college coaching career, man. As we, as you see, it's celebrating on Kyle Field. I know all the Aggies are sick right now. They hate it. Player of the game goes to my boy Charles Amenehu with the strip sack, forcing the safety man. It was a great game, man. All my people in the in the stands cheering, man. I know Aggies fans are sick right now. And like I said, man, if you're an Aggies fan watching this video, I'm sorry for your loss, man. But, you know, it had to happen. It had to be done, man. All right, man. So as you can see, your boy is now level three. So that means I can upgrade the scouting um, little tool to 100%, man. So I can go ahead and see what I'm really getting for these players, man. Trying to bring them on campus. See. You know, hopefully they don't, you know, if they dip, they don't dip too much. So let's just hop into it, find out what's going on, man. So let's see. So let's see, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scout all the dudes you know that I used my I didn't even notice that 
So I'm just going to I don't even remember how many points I use. I don't know. Alright, so just gonna scout all the dudes that I already have points on. And then take a look at where I am on everybody's board. And then we'll just go from there. So far, not too many drastic changes, which is good. Got a few guys going up. Some guys going down just a tad, but not too much where you just want to take your points off. Yeah, so 90 points left overall. So let's just take a look. Take a quick peek, man, and see where I am on everybody's board. Oh, yeah, so. Man, the rule to me, man, is if you're a 1,000 below... Just go ahead and kick them off your board, man, you know. Especially if you don't have any points invested. It's too late. You're not going to be able to, you know, persuade them. So we're looking real good so far. Not too far behind on, any, on you know, many people here. As I say that, I kicked two dudes off. Three guys. So I think I've kicked a total of five guys off. I skipped some. So kind of looking good here, man. Not too far behind on on many dudes. Some dudes, you know, they got me way down. Now, I don't have any points on them, so of course, you know, it's gonna be expected. But I'm, you know, I'm kind of happy what I'm seeing here, man. I don't, you know, we're progressing along real well. So it's looking real good right now, man. Got a few dudes wearing first. Got some dudes who are still, you know, not far behind. So it's real. Um real good you know if i don't have any points on them and you know i'm still in the running man that's a real good sign it means they really want to come there so hopefully you know by the i can sign somebody and it's not too late i can still throw them guys on campus man i mean still still throw some points on them and get them on campus um so that's gonna wrap it up for this video man Thank you guys for rocking with me. Uh, 26 to 0, man. Gave them boys at Donuts and College Station. Uh, let's see who we got up next. Uh, we got a bye week next. And then we got K-State. Go, we'll go ahead and hop into the bye week real quick. Do the recruiting for the bye week and then, you know, sim towards K-State. And then we're going to dip up out of here. All right, man. So let's hop into this bye week. Um, scouting see how far we came along I gotta kick him he's a thousand behind wow a thousand behind there so in the lead there is looking good in the lead there don't even have any points on him so we're looking good had to kick two dudes off but it's all good not too worried man <laughs> Um, so I've got a few more dudes that are about a thousand away, a few running backs, but it's all good. So a thousand by, I'm going to kick him off, man. He don't really want to come full with us too much, but it's all good. So we're really kind of trimming it down now as we get into week three. So I'm down to 18 prospects on the board, which is still, you know, still a good amount. So I'm not worried too much by any means. So let's just see. 
Um, let's see. I'll throw him. Scully. Got he's got me first. I'll throw him a Scully. He's got me first. So a lot of these dudes got me first, which is a good sign. Ah. Maybe finish up the scouting a little bit. See where everybody's sitting at. Got a few points to spare, man. Oh, a gym. Put five on him. All right, so 25. So look. So after that, we'll see how it, how everybody shapes up. Oh, potential deal breaker. Oh, went too far. Comet's prestige is a potential deal breaker. Hmm. Okay. So looks good here. Might want to get him on campus. He's 78. Don't have any other. Hmm. Big lead on him. Well, hopefully, he doesn't dip too far. And we'll just ride with the 25 this week and see what shapes up next week. So, like I said earlier, man, thank you guys for rocking with me. It was a great game for me. I mean, not really for AM, but first shutout of, of my coaching career comes in a big, big game. Um, next week, K State's gonna begin the Big 12. Um, the Big 12, you know, the big, you know, the Big 12 games, and I'm not really sure. <laughs> My mind went blank there, but thank you guys for rocking with me. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop me a like button. Until next time.